Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building the cheapest, simplest, and easiest wood rack that I've been able to find. So stick around and see how I make it. Also, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I've done a little bit of research trying to find the right wood rack for what I've got. So I don't want to build something permanent just yet. Eventually I probably will, but I'm still working on clearing and leveling out some of our land. So I don't know yet where I want a woodshed to go. So I wanted to have something that's movable and preferably not that expensive to make and really easy. So what I found was something similar to this, but I've made a few modifications to simplify it, make it easier and even better than the ones that I was able to find. So I'm going to be building two of these firewood racks and all I'm going to need for that is 10 cinder blocks, eight of all three of these sizes, eight foot long, four foot long and 14 inch long two by fours and that's it all you're gonna need for this is maybe a handsaw or chop saw a drill or hammer with fasteners long enough to go through the two by four and hold it all together now the first step is laying down your cinder blocks you want them tilted up so that the holes are facing up and down not side to side you'll see in a minute why that is now i'm going to be putting two cinder blocks every four feet that will give me a support on either end of the eight foot long two by fours and then one in the middle only spanning four feet across in between, which will give plenty of strength and support for all the firewood you're gonna be setting on top of this. Next, you're gonna take two eight foot long two by fours and two 14 inch long two by fours and nail those together, creating a long rectangle. You're gonna want these tilted up on end. That gives much more strength from it warping from the weight of the wood. Now, the next step will be taking those four foot long two by fours and placing four in on each end of the firewood rack. Just one per hole on the center block. Now these two by fours work really well inside of the center blocks. It's not my design. I saw someone else come up with this and it works really well. All the weight from the firewood pushing down on the platforms holds the center blocks in place so that those vertical two by fours can hold all the firewood in without tipping out. You got that one? Yeah, wow, what a big girl. Yep, bring it over here. Good job. I'm super Gemma. You're super Gemma, wow. Now the firewood rack is built. It honestly takes no time at all. It takes much more time to fill the wood rack up with firewood than it does to actually build this rack. When full, this firewood rack will hold up to about a cord and a half of wood. You could heap it up and maybe fit a little bit more than that. Now it depends on current prices of materials, but for around $75 and an hour of work, it's a really good deal for a wood rack that will hold up to a cord and a half of firewood. Now I'm gonna speed through this and fill up the firewood rack pretty quick, just to show you guys what this looks like when it's all full, how much wood it actually holds. Also at the end of this video, I'll show you guys a trick on how to keep the firewood dry, helps it dry out a little bit quicker and that will keep it from rotting out and bugs getting it as much. So don't forget to check that out at the end of the video.
Now the rack is just about full now. I'm gonna show you guys the quick trick that I mentioned earlier in the video on how to keep this dry. Now, what you don't wanna do is seal this off completely and basically wrap this whole thing in plastic. What you really want is air to be able to blow through the stacked wood. That's what actually dries the wood out. You don't wanna trap the moisture in. That can be really bad. It won't dry out the wood in time for the season coming up. So what I'm gonna do is take some roofing tar paper that I had left over from another job. You could easily just use a strip of plastic or a thin tarp and stretch that over the top. And I'm just gonna staple it down to the sides and then in a few places in the middle, just so that the wind doesn't catch it and rip it out, I'm gonna just put a few staples down into the firewood. Not many at all. That should be plenty to at least disperse most of the rainwater that falls on it. If the sides get a little wet, that's fine. It's gonna dry out. It just needs a lot of air and some sunshine to dry this out and keep it dry until the winter. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, hit that like button on this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I have lots of videos for you to check out on my channel. I do a DIY project each week, so if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Also, a huge shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support and encouragement to continue creating and sharing helpful videos on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out some more of my other videos. I'll leave the link right here. You can click on those and go check them out.